Hello, I'm Jesse with American Radon Mitigation. I'm happy to announce that we have finally found a house for our radon training course. Uh, this house was built in 1975. It is located in Plymouth, Minnesota. It has a full basement with an attached garage. This course we are going to, or in this course, we are gonna cover designing, engineering, and installing a radon mitigation system over the course of three days uh, where you will be involved with the whole process. So if you wanna get your hands dirty, we encourage you to get your hands dirty. Uh, this house is located in Plymouth, Minnesota, which is about a half hour from the Minneapolis St. Paul Airport, and there are several hotels within 10 minutes. Uh, this course is approved for 24 hours of NRPP uh, continuing education credits. It's cold and snowy outside. I'm sick of tripping over my words. Let's head inside and take a look. All right, let's get started with a tour of the basement. So a few of the things that I look for when I'm on a bid are uh, the floor to wall joints. Obviously we got unfinished basements, so we've got great access to seal everything up. So that'll be cool for the course because we can cover the effects of sealing. So we've got a few cracks here and there, um, that small floor joint, basically all the way around. Um, we've got post and beam in this front section of the house. So we've got post footings. They're about three feet wide and a, a foot deep. Um, front of the house and the yard is behind me. Uh, we are in Plymouth, Minnesota, so likely going to have clay um, soil. Um, probably need, I'm guessing, three to four suction points. Uh, we've got the sewer clean out here, so the all the plumbing from the house exits here. This is also where the water comes in from the city. We've got a natural draft water heater, so we will show you how to check this for backdraft. Continuing on this way. We've got a plumbing repair that they had done here. So we'll have to seal some of these cracks and gaps here and uh, the cold joint between the old concrete and the new concrete. And then here's the lookout to the back yard. Um, we've got a, uh, the foundation for the fireplace here. And then that sub slab plumbing runs over here to pick up the kitchen sink drain, which is here. And then uh, one of the other cool things is we've got um, kind of a unique foundation type where we've got post and beam over there. And then here we've just got a load bearing wall. So we've got um, a center footing that runs through here and separates kind of this area from everything else. So it'll be really cool to show uh, how this limits our pressure field extension. If we apply suction to this side, we'll find that we probably don't reach much outside of this room or this area. And then all of our piping is going to come together into this location where we'll exit out the rim joist into the garage, up the garage wall, the radon fan will be in the garage attic area, and then we're going to exhaust out through the roof. So in this three-day course, we're going to start with how I bid the job, the things I'm looking at. Um, then we're going to go to pressure field extension, see what our PFE is before we drill any um, suction points. Uh, and then we're going to get into suction point placement. So we're probably going to use our sewer camera to find where that plumbing is um, because we'll probably want to be next to plumbing for our suction points, as I mentioned. Uh, then we're going to figure out, you know, what size pipe we're going to run to each location. Um, we'll run all of our piping out into the garage. We'll cover, you know, how to install a fire stop collar the proper way, um, radon fan selection, penetrating the roof, and then installing the pipe flashing on the roof. Um, after that, we're going to come back in. We'll do pressure field extension to dial everything in, cover OM and M plans, and then figure out our, our operating cost. Um, and then a big part of it is going to be spent on optimal mitigation. So one suction point, two suction points might do it, but if we add that second or third, um, we can potentially get the radon levels lower, and then we'll for sure be able to to install a system that's quieter and cheaper for the customer to operate. This class will take place over February 14th, 15th, and 16th. Check the description for more information. I'm Jesse with American Radon Mitigation. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you soon.